Welcome to the screencast where I'll show you how to back up your iTunes and iPhoto libraries. Here I am working on my Mac. I'm going to launch a Finder window from the dock. Here's my Finder window. I'm going to go on the left sidebar to the music area. We'll take a look at iTunes first. In the music area, if you've been using iTunes and you've been downloading apps, videos, um, music files, podcasts, anything in iTunes, all of that is saved to this folder that is called iTunes that's located here in the music area. I'm going to single click on iTunes so it's selected blue. You'll see there's a bunch of files in here, there's some folders, everything again that's in iTunes is embedded in this area. So this folder, this iTunes folder is what we need to back up. With this clicked on blue, I'm going to go up to File, Get Info, and I'm going to take a look at the size and make sure depending on your library, how, however big that is, that you have enough uh, space if you're going to put this on a flash drive or an external hard drive or your first dot last user folder on the network. So I've decided I'm going to put this on my external hard drive. I've got my external hard drive connected over here. Two ways to do this. One way is to click and hold on the iTunes folder and move it over and drag and drop it on top of the external hard drive. As I move it on top of the external hard drive you'll see a green plus sign appears. If that plus sign appears that means that you are making a copy on that device. So if I go ahead and let go on there, it has now made a copy. So here is the iTunes folder that is the same one that's currently on the computer here. There's now a copy of it on my external hard drive. One tip with this, after you move it over here with the iTunes folder blue, if I hit the return key to change the name here, go ahead and name your iTunes library with your name in it. This will just make more sense when you're when you're moving it later uh, so that you know exactly what it is. And um, there'll be another video later that shows you how to put that back after you get your updated laptop. So that is copying off or backing up your iTunes library. Another step with that, if you've been using iTunes, I'm going to go ahead and open iTunes here. When you open iTunes, you want to make sure that you're signed out of iTunes. It says up here who's signed in, what account is signed in, so you can click on your name or your email address and choose sign out. You also want to make sure if you had to uh, do any downloading of apps or anything from the iTunes store, go up to the store drop down menu, come down to deauthorize this computer, and you have to put in whatever Apple ID you were using and password and that will deauthorize this computer. What that means is you get five authorizations for using iTunes on any computers. Uh, by deauthorizing you save one of those. So then when you get your computer back later um, you can reauthorize and and everything will line back up correctly. So that is iTunes. Let's take a look at iPhoto. If I go to the pictures area on the sidebar here in the pictures area, there's one file that's called iPhoto Library. It's represented by these three little pictures as its icon. If I'm in column view here on the finder, it shows that the size is, this one for me, is 643 megabytes. You can also do a file, get info, if you need to check the size like we did earlier. So this file is what you need to copy off. Same process. You can drag and drop this on top of whatever external hard drive or flash drive you might have depending on the size it might take a little while so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that because mine's a little big that would probably take about you know three to five minutes to do that but then that's backed up so that is how you copy off your iPhoto and iTunes libraries and then I'll do another video here shortly to show you how to put them back thanks so much for watching